and welcome to Robbie's Allotment Blog, Friday the 21st of June and today I am actually digging up my onions you can see these here, uh, what I've dug up so far so the whole crop's ready because you can see they're all flopped and uh, I'm getting dug over and I've got some space to put um, some more tomatoes where I can't squeeze in the polytunnel so that's what I'm doing today look at this one here what I've just pulled up now look Look at the size of that bad boy. Massive, isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna harvest all these and then have a look at the garlic because I think the garlic's ready as well. Welcome to Wilby's Lotman Blog for Sunday the 23rd of June, following on from Friday's harvest of the onions, um, which as you've seen just before now. I've harvested some wonderful lettuce today, that's the Lolo Rosso. Um, crispy iceberg there and some fresh mixed rubbish also in there got some strawberries I only picked some on Friday so I ain't got as many uh, in this bag here is some wonderful simply I'll stick some wonderful beet spinach, spinach beet so two bags of spinach and in this bag is the spinach red kitten Two varieties of spinach and we've got a box full of broad beans. Uh, first carrots of the season, some early ants, they look nice, they've come from inside the polytunnel. I'll probably leave them to get a little bit bigger. Instead that they do need a bit of space to grow. And these I pulled up by accident, I thought they were weeds <laughs> and they were turnips. <laughs> so they're the turnips and the lamb purple. Having said that, mum likes them that size, so she's probably happy I quick to pull by mistake. And in here is the the Spring broccoli, the white broccoli, still coming, still refusing to die off. So that's the harvest for today. Let's go around and do a quick tour in a minute. And this week, everybody got like as they're reminding us that we've got to keep our borders tidy. And I must admit, it's been a screaming battle. Um, I keep getting strimmer down on this section three weeks later and all the weeds are back so I've dug it all out and it's been hard work because it's half concrete so I've uh, transplanted my sweet peas there so I think that looks tidy don't you <laughs> um, some more sweet peas there so that's the first side that's entrance one into the allotment okay if this there's still quite plenty to do for this side, but actually, if you think about it, it's, just, it's only going to be a few torches, so I just need to get rid and be able to have a grass path around them all, really. Um, some more sweet peas there, so I've done all that bit all the way down there. Um, I did that today as well, in it, dinky? So I had a bit of spare wood, so I screwed the wood onto there, varnished the piece of wood that I've had, and got two stick on stickers. So we've plopped 25. Quite camping it. <laughs> um, these what I've transplanted here are the orange, orange king, Calendula. They looked a bit dead earlier, so I've given them. Uh, we all rain with bad, you know. I bet everybody thought I was mental getting those pipe out. Look, so I just put them in. They really did just die, but they come back now. Give them a good water. They look good. And then. I did this section over, put some more um, stuff there as well. I'm hoping the hebs are going to come back. These two webs don't look very well, uh, but the head there on the edge, that one does look good. Look at the pot there. So, slide to the side. A smaller sign for my plot 27 would do exactly the same, just a smaller piece of wood. It's fine. These are what everybody tells me is the campiest thing they've ever seen on the allotments. Is uh, I've put back been lying at the top of the uh, um, pallets. I can't think what you called them then, and uh, put the tomatoes in. And they're doing all right, aren't they? So they should be the cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Knowing me, I've probably got them mixed up, and they'll be gigantic ones. But man, I won't spare if it was. That's all right. <laughs> So, that, I've just 
weeded today and found all the spinach, <laughs> which was hiding under the weeds. So pulled it all out to the root, pulled spinach out. Don't pull the root up, sorry. Just pull off the stalks, and the spinach will come again. Uh, see, that's the turnip F1. So it was a frantic. F1 Atlantic, not the purple Milan, then what I accidentally picked. Because you can see cap there, you pulled them up like, ah no, they're not weeds. <laughs> so, it does look like they need spacing out a bit, lined. So that's that there. There's the, that's my broad bean bed. I've had loads of broad beans. Look here, you can see currants what are coming. So, probably next weekend's job. I'll probably be busy Sunday. Green Bay Festival with my brother and my nephew Saturday, so um, I have to be, be looking at all this. It's only next weekend, so I have to be careful what I dream, can't I? Uh, next Saturday, um, run of beans, I was expecting way higher than this, was, but you know, weather's not been brilliant, has it? So, pull the beans again, stand here, look down. Really is coming on in it. So much more broad beans there. But if you look here, I can't see it. I can, you can see the Monge 2 coming. So I think you can see me sign for Monge 2, which is there. Look, hiding. Oh, you've got a sugar pot. So I've actually eaten two straight off pot, pot of lovely. And um, hopefully, I'll have a bigger harvest next week. Somewhere should be peas, and I can't see that find the labels. I don't know which way to start. Again. Doing well, that's Christmas tree. I've not seen the fish today. Beautiful purple flower that into all the duck. <laughs> They don't last long, those purple lilies. But no, I ain't seen the fish. That blue and white flower is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to sprinkle some of those seed pods over where I've just dug for next year. That'll cover it, won't it? So, let's continue a quick walk around because I'm getting tired now. So, all means here. Here's a, some radish, mixed radish there. Uh, yeah, it's a radish garlic glove. And oh, this netting keeps coming off. That's cauliflower. And raspberries coming. Oh, yeah, they're ready. That one's gone off. Better have a pop up round for fruit. Um, so cabbage January King are doing well. Yeah. So the beans. The King Horn wax French beans. Some courgettes. And pumpkins at the back. Um, follow well those what I'm picking at the minute in the icebergs still still plenty of lettuces underneath that netting look and there's some at the far side small and then the seed in the middle just walk up see what to do with the seed so this cabbage I don't know how it's netted but it looks like pictures of managed to land on top of the netting and just decimate them so I'm hoping they come back because I don't think they've eaten the heart so I'm going to do an extra year now and the thing is get a load of wood and I'm just going to build some wooden frames on the edge of the bed, walking. Let's look at gooseberries here, look. These are the red variety, I don't think they're quite ready. Mm. No they're not. <laughs> not far off though. There's some of the sprouts I've put in and got on there as well, wouldn't get them very well. I think they were tired last week. So a bit to dig over. 
um, some more brassicas. I'll probably end up losing them because they ain't built the framework. Them ones are netted off, so these are alright. So these kale hopefully will come. So they're doing alright. And then here, they're not doing that particularly well, really. Um, it's pretty red kitten today, but it looks like it's going to seed already. Um, and here we've got chard, so, um, white silver too, which is doing all right. And two rows of beetroots there coming. Got some weeding still there. That's my leeks. And there's leeks behind the sweet corn cage, and you can see sweet corn. So that's shot up since Friday when I weeded on there on Friday. And hopefully we'll get some. Um, and there's the uh, Cordia Black Beauties at the back, a couple of some leeks. And that's all my potatoes. These are some radish which I pulled up. They're just all leaf though. There's no, I pulled some up. There's no nothing on the roots at all. So I don't know, it's a black variety. But I don't seem to be doing very well. So a couple of those of spring onions behind. Again, I haven't, I haven't watered the garden, I've only watered inside Polito because it's forecast to absolutely tip it down tonight and tomorrow. And the amount of rain we've, we've had this last week, I just cannot believe how dry this ground is. And believe me, it's, it's, it's rock hard. It's unbelievable, really. But the carrots are doing amazing there. In the row. I don't normally do very well outside, but it just shows you. And then parsnips behind. I'm not sure if I made the bed deep enough, I've got to be honest. I've got a feeling I didn't make the bed deep enough. Some more carrots in the wheelbarrow. They're doing all right. So the stand from here. Up down. So that looks good, doesn't it? So let's have a quick look at fruit, actually. You know what I'm saying? I know what I've got to pick next week. There's no sign of plums yet on there, is there? Oh, there is. Got a lot of plums there, look. They're coming. Oh, I better. Look at these raspberries. They're ready to pick. I'm not going home yet, then. <laughs> we'll get them picked in a minute. Some fruit container. Better check these, these fruit down here as well. These are gooseberries. Are these ready yet? No, I don't think so. Oh, they're not far off. Well, that's them. Not easy. Oh, they're ready. They're ready. So that's two bushes of gooseberries I need to strip in a minute then. Oh, I'm not going home yet, guys. <laughs> oh, it walk over here. Yeah, we need to get down there, but a lot to do. It's tidying up in there as well. <laughs> We've got to lay a floor. The beautiful shed. So let's go look at the strawberries first. Strawberries in there, look. All right. Oh, God, how am I going to get inside that tunnel? <laughs> but to be honest, that's the only real corner now that's a mess. Um, and you see here, I've got some red currants there to pick. Tons and tons of red currants in there. Tons and tons of black currants. Walk around the other side. Got mint in corner. Don't know what this is. I think it's fennel. I'm not entirely sure. It's fennel or aniseed. Comes off the pumps like that, look. Beautiful. But I ain't entirely sure what it is. And then, look behind it, I'm going to get, I'm not sure I'm going to get into here to pick the gooseberries. And they've got a load more gooseberries here, look. But I can't really get in to get them to them. And then, they don't taste quite as ready. I don't know well, how am I going to get in there to get the gooseberries off? No matter if I have to be real fresh and just go down with a power tool and then pick, pick them in 
the same back corner, got back crunch, red crunch. Yeah, that had to be ruthless there. So, this is nearly finished. So it's the grand entrance into the polytunnel look. So, he's done most of the work. Um, we finished it off together today. So, done is well, built a wooden frame and then we've nailed that onto there and you've got a we've put a roof on as well it's just heavy plastic and side so look nailed that so that's quite secure there and we've nailed the plastic to the to the frame i've still got one zip what works at the moment and what we're going to do here is we thought about the metal shutters but i think they'll be a bit expensive um, so we're looking at maybe some sliding doors or a door what opens the old old style. I don't know, go look. But I want, I want a door onto this but to protect it in the winter. But um, yeah, it looks good. So if we go inside the polytunnel now. These are my two tomato rails of Craig's. They're smaller than the others for some reason. Then I've got tomato golden sunrise. And then them ones are also golden sunrise. And then one's there, the money make. There's some flowers coming on them as well now. Plenty of fresh coriander that seeded itself when I did it before. I've seen the parsley. The, I've got some um, two little fruit trees. I think that's a chili. What's left of the tomatoes? Some things just want to go in the ground. I've got kale to go in yet. I think these were the cucumbers that I transplanted last week. More tomatoes. A bit watery there, they don't need water for a few days, do they? Um, oh, oh, check that out. Far too much water there, have it? Not like that, even if it is hot in here. There, cucumbers, and some cucumbers coming here a lot. I think they're the yellow cucumbers, if I remember right. That's my box of carrots, rubber jeans at the far side. I've got a box of chilies here, two chilies at the back, that's my celery, and two origins at the back, some tomatoes, and then they need transplanting. So that's inside the polytunnel. Tomatoes are doing well, aren't they? So I better go and uh, pick that to fruit now, isn't it? So me signing off. See you later. Bye.